China, the gateway to East Asia, is a fascinating country. It is an ancient civilization that gave the world Peking man, gunpowder, and noodles. Visitors making their first trip to China usually stick to the larger cities. More experienced visitors to the Middle Kingdom will strike out in other directions, where traveling may be a bit more frustrating because of the language barrier, but most definitely doable for independent travelers. Here's a look at the best places to visit in China. Number 10. Kunming Kunming is the economic, transportation, industrial, and cultural center of southwest China. It is linked by rail from all of China's major cities, as well as with Vietnam. The mild climate makes it a good place to visit any time of the year. Largely because of the fine climate, flower growing is a major industry, and tourists can visit flower exhibits and auctions and a huge botanical garden. In addition to its own charms, Kunming serves as a base from which to explore the rainbow of ethnic minority in the area. Number 9. Chu Chai Go Chu Chai Go Valley has been described as a fairyland because of its many waterfalls, snow-covered karst mountains, and its 108 blue, turquoise, and green-colored lakes that are so crystal clear one can see the bottoms. It is also the habitat of giant pandas, though the chances of seeing them are slim due to the park's size and the number of tourists. Number 8. Hangzhou Famed for its natural scenery, Hangzhou and its West Lake have been immortalized by countless poets and artists. In the 13th century, Marco Polo described the city as the most beautiful and magnificent in the world. Hangzhou's most famous site, West Lake, is a large lake separated by causeways and lined with ancient buildings and gardens designed for relaxation and spirituality. Visitors will find pagodas, temples, walking paths, and tea farms along its shores. Number 7. Yang Chuo. Yangshuo in South China was once a magnet for backpackers because of its cheap prices and laid-back atmosphere, but today it draws all sorts of travelers to enjoy its beautiful scenery and karst mountains. Yangshuo also makes a good base to take a day trip to Guilin for a leisurely trip on the Li River. Many travelers choose to rent bicycles for the trip back since the route is relatively flat and gives them the opportunity to view farmers toiling in their fields. Number 6. Lhasa Lhasa is the most important city in Tibet and one of the highest elevated in the world at 11,500 feet. 
Lhasa, in spite of its absorption into Greater China, has retained much of its culture. It is home to the Potala Palace, which was the former home of the Dalai Lama. The palace was constructed on the Red Hill more than 360 years ago. Another palace is Norbulinka, built in 1755. It was the Dalai Lama's summer palace before his exile. Number 5. Xi'an Xi'an was once the start of the indispensable Silk Road that made commerce between many countries in Eurasia possible. It was also the imperial seat for no fewer than 11 dynasties before the unification of China between 1000 BC and 1000 AD. Its most famous attraction is the rather recently discovered Terracotta Army, the protectors of the tomb of the first emperor of China. Xi'an also boasts 14th century city walls that are more than 8 miles long. They are not only a part of the city history, but traveling in Xi'an sometimes requires going under, on, or around them. Number 4. Shanghai Located on the East China Sea and the mouth of the Yangtze River, Shanghai is the largest city in China. Its skyline is filled with skyscrapers, while shiny shopping malls, luxurious hotels, and prestigious art centers are rising alongside. The city nights in Shanghai are representative of the western view of China cities, with bright neon signs, bustling streets, and numerous businesses. The most popular place to go for a stroll is the Bund, Shanghai's colonial riverfront along Huangpu River. While levees have significantly changed the Bund's appearance, a number of architecturally significant buildings are adjacent to the strip and are still visible. Number 3. Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is an assemblage of smaller walls built by various dynasties over many years. Builders erected these walls for protection from invasion by those from the north. The Great Wall itself measures approximately 5,500 miles in length, although some of the sections lie in ruin or have disappeared altogether. It is the longest man-made structure in the world. There are several sections of the Great Wall of China that visitors find interesting. Bada Ling is the most popular section of the wall, as it is the closest to Beijing and easy to climb. Number 2. Hong Kong Located off China's southeastern coast, Hong Kong is a glittering, world-class commercial center where Chinese culture, British colonial influences, and modern-day high technology blend together. While it contains the world's highest concentration of skyscrapers and one of the highest population densities, Hong Kong also offers plenty of green spaces, mountain views, and beaches. Some of the must-see attractions include the famous Victoria Harbor, which is a spectacular sight at night, and the Peak, Hong Kong's highest point, which offers awe-inspiring views of the city.
Number 1. Beijing Beijing is the current capital city and remains one of the most popular places to visit in China. Its history dates back more than 3,000 years, and much of that history is still alive within its borders. Beijing literally means northern capital, a role it has played many times in China's long history. The city is home to Tiananmen Square, the Forbidden City, the National Museum of China, as well as the old and new summer palaces. These and other attractions are perfect for observing Chinese gardens, ancient architecture, and Chinese culture from a range of periods in the country's long history.